Very much. Uh, Mr. Speaker, would you advise both of us how much time remains? The gentleman from Florida has 12 minutes remaining. And the gentleman from Georgia has 10 minutes remaining. The gentleman from Florida. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. If we defeat the previous question, I'm going to offer an amendment to the rule to bring up a desperately needed $220 million aid package uh, for the people of Flint, Michigan, who have been without clean drinking water for the last two years. Mr. Speaker, we've known about this man-made catastrophe for more than a year. And we didn't give the waiver last night uh, to Mr. Kildee's amendment. Um, we have provisions to deal with man-made catastrophes dealing with a variety of issues, prominent among them um, when freight rail um, uh, goes off the tracks and causes uh, uh, their uh, uh, freight um, uh, that may very well be harmful uh, to a community. Uh, to pollute that community, we act uh, as we should have here. The Republican majority continues to do nothing about this, hiding uh, behind House rules to block funding and justify its inaction. I really don't understand it. I said last night um, to all of our colleagues, if it was any one of our communities, and I might add a footnote right there, there are other communities in the United States of America um, uh, that uh, do have problems uh, with uh, lead poisoning, and it augurs uh, well that we should consider them as well. However, we all know the circumstances of uh, Flint, Michigan. But Mr. Speaker, American families are being poisoned by lead-contaminated water. When that happens, we have a moral responsibility to act now. Uh, we can't wait any longer. Um, I, I've heard around here that it's a local and a state responsibility. Well, if that's the case, we need to shut this institution down uh, because everything then would be a local and a state responsibility and all of our infrastructure issues of consequence would be a state and a local uh, issue uh, as they are, but the federal uh, government has uh, responsibilities as well. And while there's enough blame to go around uh, about Flint, the simple fact of the matter is, and I'm sure the next speaker will point it out, the United States Senate has seen in its wisdom, 95 to 3 they have voted, 95 to 3, to provide the $220 million, which is nothing more than a start to try and do what is necessary in order for people to be uplifted. This is an area of our country, if we were talking 40 years ago, that was a driving engine of this country, that portion of uh, Michigan. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my amendment in the record along with extraneous material immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection. And Mr. Speaker, I now to discuss our proposal will yield four minutes to the distinguished gentleman, uh, my friend uh, from Michigan, who has worked, Mr. Kildee, who has worked tirelessly on behalf of uh, his uh, uh, constituents, and I find it shameful that he has to once again come here and ask for what we could have done in the Rules Committee last night by giving him the necessary waiver for his amendment to be put on the floor and at least voted on. Thank you, Mr.